what is going on today is my first day of training for the houston marathon it's about 14 weeks out my goal is to finish in three and a half hours that will be a personal best for me i ran the austin marathon earlier this year and finished in three hours and 34 minutes and so i just gotta shave off four minutes i think i'll be able to do it i just need to do a little bit more running i when I ran Austin, I was dealing with a little bit of shin splints. I had a hamstring problem. You're just from going pretty heavy on squats and, and leg press. And so my left hamstring was compromised for pretty much the entire duration of my training and on the race itself. And so hamstring feels good. It actually gave out and started to cramp up on mile 25 of the Houston or of the Austin Marathon. And so hopefully that won't be an issue feel good uh, so I should be able to do it I just got to make sure that I don't hurt the hamstring that I don't push it harder than it needs to be I don't go super heavy you know just not eagle lift um, and not you know push it extra miles when I should be giving it a rest and then also make sure I get a, a few more long runs in <laughs> I always have a temptation to skip long runs and shortcut them just because they get kind of boring and so I'll make sure I'm more disciplined with my running. And, you know, in terms of my training, I definitely train different than at most people, you know. Most people will run five, six, seven times a week for their marathon or their half marathon. And, you know, that's good if you have a lot of experience, but if you're brand new, it's your first marathon, well, it usually doesn't end too well runner's knee, plantar fasciitis, some form of injury, and then also, you know, burnout. I work with a, a lot of clients who come to me because they want to train different just because of the amount of running that they're doing and you, how it doesn't work out to them. And so I'll, I'll do it by only running three times a week. I'll be three days of running and three days of strength training and I'm alternating between the two. And so the first day on this Monday will be a strength training day. Uh, I'll do a push-pull leg split. So Monday will be push, chest, shoulders, triceps, Wednesday will be legs, your quads, your glutes, hamstrings, calves, and then Friday's pull is back and biceps, and then I'll run Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Uh, and the goal is to increase mileage just about every week, about 14 weeks out, and so I'll have to, you know, really map out a, a plan here to see what my plan of attack is, but I'll peak out at mile 20, about right at the new year. And then I'll, I'll kind of work my way backward from there and, you know, put a, a game plan together. But it'll have three days of running, three days of lifting. And if I do that, I think, one, I'll be able to get the miles in. and But two, also make sure, you know, I'm, I'm strong enough going into it, making sure my, you know, hamstrings are strong enough and, and my quads and whatnot. And so that's the, the plan of attack going into the Houston Marathon. Um, yeah, follow along.